The next question is about the opinion of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin. You also mentioned that you have studied with the Sheikh, so you should know. Uh, so the question is, uh, some people justify their, their terrorism uh, or their tactics with uh, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin's fatwa. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, I'm not going to reference the fatwa because it's you know, very controversial in here. Please listen to me carefully. A scholar, every scholar, teaches and gives verdicts. And the teaching is always generic and theoretical. And the verdicts are what are practical. If you go through medical school, you go through engineering, you go through any school, you will study large textbooks and you will go over many different cases. But when you get to the actual operating theater, when you get to the actual mechanical plant or chemical engineering plant or whatever, that will not necessarily be exactly what you studied in class. So theory is sometimes different than reality. Now, on YouTube, there's a very famous clip where somebody took a five minute or three minute clip from Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen when he's teaching theory. And this is a book of fiqh that he teaches called Zad al Mustaqni. And he teaches this book, he taught it seven or eight times in his life. And one of the chapters in this book is the chapter of jihad. And in this, in a theoretical scenario, he's giving what if this, then maybe we can do this. What if that, we can do that. He's talking theory. And he mentions things in this theory. To take his theory, cut and paste it, and apply it to Bosnia, apply it to Syria, apply it to Norway. This is the essence of jahl, of ignorance. It's like you open up a book of neurosurgery and then you practice neurosurgery on the patient in front of you. It doesn't work like that. This is Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen's class that he's teaching to advanced students. This is a class you want to attend it. You attend it cover to cover, beginning to end. That's fine. But for you to take three minutes talking theory and then apply it to reality, to a particular situation, nobody with a shred of intelligence does this. Also, you want to know something? Something. The Shaykh, Allah Yarhamu, he is my Shaykh. I love him. Wallahi, more than any other Shaykh in the world, I have a relation. My, my love for him is more than any other Shaykh. He had an impact on me that no other Shaykh did. Do you know that the Shaykh, when it came to the Bosnian War, he was alive and healthy. 9 11 happened, he's already passed away, so he doesn't have any fatwa. In the Bosnian War, he was alive and healthy. And many of the people in the Bosnian War would call him up and ask him, I know for a fact, I know for a fact that much of what he told them is not allowed and allowed in the Bosnian war varied from the theory he's teaching in his generic classes. Why? Because theory is one thing, practicality and reality is another. What he might teach theoretically, well, sometimes you can do X. Okay, sometimes you can. Now, are you allowed to do X in Bosnia? Somebody calls him a sheikh, can we do this and that? No, 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 not there because this is going to cause this and that. And so he gives a specific fatwa, no. Now, to take his theory and then apply it in Norway or America, I swear by Allah, the sheikh would never approve. And I will stand in front of Allah and answer this. He would never approve of the terrorism acts that occurred on Western soil. Never. That was not the methodology of our sheikh. And you don't believe me? I'm not one of his major students. I don't, I don't claim to be one of his major students. Allah blessed me to study with him one summer. Call it what you will. I had his company for one summer. Go to his major students. Go to his son-in-law who is student study with him for 30 years. Go to those who study with him 40 years. Go to all of his heirs, the actual people who studied with the Sheikh and go ask all of them right now. Sheikh, can we go and and throw a bomb off in Norway? Can we kill people in the subway of New York? Go ask them and see what they say. What stupidity is this that you, without any knowledge of Arabic, log on to YouTube, take a three minute clip, and then think you are Faqih, Shaykh al Islam, Muftil Google? This is what you become. Brothers and sisters, don't kill innocent people based on Shaykh Wikipedia and Imam Google. What type of knowledge is this? What type of knowledge is this? Go study ilm from the real ulama. And if you really want to, go to his students and ask them directly. He has a son-in-law that studied with him for 40 years and is now teaching in his chair. Literally, he's sitting in the chair of the sheikh in the masjid. The sheikh loved him so much, he married his daughter to him. If you trust anybody, go trust him. Ask him, Sheikh, this is what we found on YouTube from your own father-in-law. Can we apply it to America or Norway? 
And I know exactly what he's going to say because I know this student or this son-in-law very well. I know the sheikh as well. He would never approve of this lunacy, of this militancy, of this blood, blood, blood. This is not the way of our religion. Theory is different than reality. And you cannot quote theory and then apply it to reality without having knowledge. None of the famous scholars, the reputable scholars, none of them allowed such terroristic attacks on innocent people, on innocent soil. None of our scholars did this because wallahi, this this is not a part of our religion of Islam. And Allah Azza wa knows best.